guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares, and today we're here for another speed build. I've decided to build an orchard on my island. This is going to be an apple orchard. I kind of didn't want to do an orchard as I feel like it's done quite a lot but I was struggling with ideas to fill up my island so I thought let's do this let's just try and make it as pretty as we can in this small space so that's what we're going to do and then here's the items that I've using again very sort of rustic colors there's quite a bit of red lots of wood so yeah let's get started first of all let's get our terraforming hat on our hard hat i should really wear like a safety vest for these videos so it gives the illusion that i really am a builder but hey <laughs> we'll just deal with my pretty dress for now so first of all i'm going to start off by framing the area and sort out the places where i want my trees to be so i'm digging some holes randomly and then i'm going to start working on the cliffs and trust olive to be exactly where i wanted to build such a pain they always do it every single time where i want to be my villagers are and i didn't mean to speak to her <laughs> that was an accident i was trying to build the cliff but it was just a tad too close to her so i'm just trying to make it more circular kind of frame the area so i can get some trees in there so i've made lots of space for that and then I decided to extend the cliff out a bit so that we can get a few trees up there just to break up the level, make it a bit more interesting. And rounding the cliffs off, which is like my favorite thing to do. Yes, I accidentally hit Olive. Whoops, I'm sure she won't hate me. She might. <laughs> but here we go, we're just filling in the back cliffs a bit more. I should say that my house is definitely not going to be staying there that's one of my next speed builds that i'm going to be doing so be, be sure to subscribe if you want to see how i do that and then olive finally decided to move which is very nice of her but she's kind of more in my way now but we'll see what she does oh sitting down there okay you're fine for now just stay out of my way and then this is where I'm gonna put a tree up top and then I'm just gonna fill in the cliff where Olive was sat. Again, trying to make it look quite natural. Rookie mistake there. <laughs> so there's our first apple tree in and then just deciding on where to place it here. And we went with the original hole, which is just typical for me. probably should have just left the holes i think it probably is a bit easier to build without having the apple trees everywhere um but i like to make things difficult for myself so i decided to put the trees in first just a tip though if you are trying to make an orchard probably just leave the holes as they are and add the trees last it'll make it so much easier for yourself and i kind of ran out of apple trees at this point And then I decided to move this tree just back a bit just so that I had a bit more space in the middle to kind of do my build and this is where I decided that we were just going to plant some saplings for now okay it's looking all right so far so let's start doing some paths Again, here's my dirt path back out in full bloom with the daisies and or little white flowers on the corners. I'm still in love with it. I'm going to be sad when I have to change my path for my next island. I mean, I don't have to, but I would definitely like to mix it up a bit, I think. So trying to make the path look really natural and flowing through the trees. So we're using lots of corner pieces. And then this is going to be the area, the kind of main seating area for the orchard. So I'm trying to make that a bit bigger. More of kind of a square, kind of circular square 
if that's a thing. I know what I mean. <laughs> Where, like, because the path is quite rounded, so it's going to be more of a square than a circle. But yeah, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> um, so then it was just time to fill that in with the squares that are missing. And obviously plant that sapling that I forgot to do earlier. And I thought maybe it was time to just mix up the trees out the front. So I went and got myself one of the hardwood trees. Struggled a bit, as you can see. And collecting up some items that I'm going to need for the kind of like apple stall area. As you can see, the customizations that I've gone for on this build are mainly sort of a gingamy green and my stool is that brown ruffle which I like to use. Obviously this is during cherry blossom season. It will look so much better when the pink isn't there. Personally, I do prefer it without the pink. I just like the more natural tones. And then I'm just putting down some filler patterns on the ground. And I had an idea to put the sign there for the apple orchard. I found a really cute one. You've probably seen it lots and lots of times. I believe the creator is called Bug, um, but it's kind of like a vintage apple sign. So I needed to go and craft myself a shop sign. And then this is the super cute design that I was talking about and I wanted to place it down on that dirt circle. Really nice. I love all of the designs by that creator. And then for this I could have gone for the brown kind of cardboard boxes but I wanted to use the apple ones to tie in that red a bit more so I just dropped an apple on top of that. And then just trying to figure out the placement of the stool here. I decided that I wanted to use the simple panels with the apple crates so just trying to make them fit properly and I just thought this tree was just a tad too close so I just decided to move that back one square and I think that just looked a bit better you can just see the apples a bit more and it also gave more space out the front just time to collect some more items more barrels Lots of things like that to decorate around the trees. I've used quite a few of the pirate barrels here. So I wanted the sideways ones, which I'd forgotten to pick up. As I like the idea that they're just kind of laying down on the grass. I think that's really cute. And there we have what they look like. I do prefer the colour of the pirate barrels, I just think that they're a lot more kind of rustic looking. And there's a stood up one. And then in front of the stool I decided to put the ironwood low table and decorate the stool itself with some fruit items. So we've got the fruit basket and we're just trying to find the infused water dispenser. And then out the front we put the cutting board which has a little bit of a red accent to it as well. I do a lot of looking in my inventory, I'm sorry if that's really boring. I tried to use the brown cardboard boxes but I just wasn't feeling it at all. So we switched it back out for the apple one. And this time I put a red plastic container on it. Not one of my favourite furnitures, but for areas like this, farms, etc, I think they kind of work. The green is a really nice colour on one of them as well. And I also wanted to tie in this cricket. I love the container that the crickets are in and I love the fact that it's got a red ribbon on top. I thought that was really cute. Again here, I thought that we needed some more barrels. 
you can never have too many barrels <laughs> so uh, just putting down some more pirate ones and some filler designs as well The next thing to work on was the tablecloth area for this. I went with the table with cloth, hence the tablecloth. <laughs> um, and also I wanted a garden faucet for water collection. So I put it next to the waterfall. I thought that was quite appropriate. And then we obviously put down a bucket. Need all the buckets for collecting water, etc. And then here we are just decorating the table. So I went with the red simple kettle. And I saw the hand cut in my inventory and remembered to put that down. Again, that's red as well. I also updated my kind of soil seed bags. I found this really cute. It's more kind of rustic. Um, so I wanted to tie that in as well. Although you can't really see it back there, I feel like if you're using your camera and stuff then it's important to put those little details in as well so those areas don't look too bare. For the table I went with a log chair with the same red pattern that I had on the cutting board just to tie it in. Toyed with the idea of a wooden stool but changed my mind. Put an apple on the table as well just to tie things in just deciding what else to put on the table. I thought Berliners kind of fitting with their raspberry or apple. It's not, okay, that's not at all fitting. Why, why would I think that? But jam is red, I think that's what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, you don't have apple jam in donuts, do you? Do you? I don't know, I'm doubting myself now. Uh, but anyway, uh, and I think we're just trying to collect some more items here. No, we're just running around aimlessly. I've just totally lost the plot. But anyway, <laughs> on with the build. I think we were a little bit too full, so just clearing out our inventory a bit and getting some flowers to put around the trees. I wish I had lots more red flowers, but alas, we don't. Uh, they're not really one of my favorites, so we're just gonna stick with the white and try and contrast it with the red. I mean, they kind of match with the cardboard boxes, so we'll deal with that for now. And one, another one of my favorite items, maybe I'll just do a favorite item video, um, favorite pieces of furniture, because I seem to have a lot of them, but yeah. The log stakes are another one of my favorites. And obviously some more filler details, so leaves this time, very fitting for the orchard. And then just working up on the cliff here, I decided to swap out the middle tree because I remembered I had a silo and that's very fitting for the apple orchard. But I thought that little detail with the dirt circle and the apple dropped on top, that was a cute idea. Before getting my silo, I got some bushes just to add some more details to the area. I think I forgot about them and the greens definitely add something a bit different. Here I wanted to put a fence down just so we didn't have any accidents when people fall into the sea. Hopefully that wouldn't happen, but you never know. I'm very clumsy, so it might. I toyed with what to put here, changed my mind about the box because it was quite close to the other one. So we went for a tin bucket instead, adding some leaf piles Another great item of furniture if you're creating a natural looking island. Still not happy with this area. So I went with the pile of zen cushions in the kind of seed sapling design. I thought it looked really cute. Adding some log stakes in for good measure. So here we are, we're going to put that silo in place which I spoke about. I love the colours on this one, it's kind of got a 
browny, reddy brick with the green roof. Just put some custom designs underneath to make sure we get those details in. And a fencing next to it. And then I wanted to put some cardboard boxes or something next to it to try and just give that idea that it's a storage area. I tried to make this happen with this cardboard box. It didn't work. So we switched it out for the apple one and I wanted to use my gnome, just give the idea that the gnome's watching over the orchard, making sure that things like birds aren't stealing them, the, the fruit that is. Time for some more flowers to decorate our cliffs. Again, sticking with the white ones, as that's all we've got at the moment. Here I wanted to put the garden wagon as I love the colours in the garden wagon and the flowers are just so pretty. I'm not going to fill the whole of this cliff in this video. I'm toying with the idea of putting my house up there so you'll have to wait and see what happens with that area or maybe if you watch my tour when we eventually get there uh, you'll see what I decided to do. At the minute there's just a pink money tree there for good good times um yeah <laughs> there's not a lot to say about that really so here we are just trying to finish off these little areas i decided to put the log bench inside um, in front of the sign in even and i was waiting for this tree to grow in the sapling just behind the simple panel as i think that would look nice with the wild lo log sticking out behind it I went back to the idea of using the wooden stool here but I realised what the problem was. I think it was the colour because it was matching with the tablecloth which was throwing me off and I couldn't put a cushion on it so I decided to switch it out for the red pattern. And I think that looked a whole lot better. Please ignore that blanket on the rock. I'm going to do some decorating for that, but I'm not going to do that in this video, so it'll be a bit of a surprise for you. I'm just trying to fill it out back here. I tried to move the tree, but my cliffs were causing me a bit of a problem. I thought I would be able to demolish that cliff, but it just wasn't liking it. So we put it back where it was, but I switched it out for a fully grown tree. So it did have some benefit. So guys, that's pretty much the end of the build. I know some of the trees aren't grown in, but I don't want to time travel today. I'm trying to keep things kind of moving at a good level. So this is the finished product for now. As you can see, we've got our stool with kind of the fruit items on, the path snakes through the area, and then we come to our table. There's lots of apple trees just dotted everywhere. There's some fruit dropped. As you can see up on the left, we've got the dirt path with a, an apple on top. Lots of boxes, lots of pillows, buckets, all kind of very natural looking and about a million barrels because you know me, I like my barrels. <laughs> I do. There's not a lot else to say about that. If it's not a barrel in this build, something's not right. Um, but anyway, we'll get back to where we were. Uh, lots of apple trees and I think it looks really cute. I'm quite happy with it. It's not overly big so I've tried to utilise the space as best I can and I feel like we've kind of achieved the brief. So overall I'm happy. I think it's definitely going to stay for now. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and if you're not already subscribed please remember to click that button and like the video if you've enjoyed it. Until next time guys, have a lovely day, goodbye.